everyone, this is Ekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a non-exact equation. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve x cube y cube plus 1 into dx plus x power 4 y square dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. x cube y cube plus 1 into dx plus x power 4 y square into dy equals to 0. Consider that as equation number 1. Okay. So, this is of m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. That is in m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. Right. Where by comparing these two we will get m equals to x cube y cube plus 1 and m equals to x power 4 y square, right? If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So, let's find partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. Do m by do y equals to do y do y of this is your m right and this is your n for m equals to x cube y cube plus 1. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x is treated as constant here. 1 is also constant, right? This is equals to do y do y of first term plus do y do y of second term is equals to constant into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y plus partial derivative of 1 with respect to y is 0 is equals to x cube into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3y square is equals to 3x cube y square. Okay, now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to dou by dou x of x power 4 y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so we'll take y square as constant is equals to y square constant into partial derivative of x power 4 with respect to x is equals to y square into partial derivative of x power 4 with respect to x is 4 x cube equals to 4 x cube y square. It's clear that partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Right. Therefore, dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. From this, we can say that equation 1 is non-exact equation. Okay. Now, we'll reduce the given differential equation that is non-exact equation to exact equation using inspection method. Okay. So, this is a given equation, right? You can read it as x cube y cube dx plus dx plus x power 4 y square dy equals to 0. Then, x cube y cube dx plus x power 4 y square dy plus dx equals to 0. Fine. So, here you are having in the first two terms, if you notice the first two terms, you are having x cube, x power 4 from these two. You can take x cube common and you are having y cube, y square. So, you can take y square common, right? You can take x cube, y square common from these two terms. Then we will get x cube, y square times y dx plus 
x dy plus third term will be as it is equals to 0. We know that since y dx plus x dy equals to differential x y. Okay. So we can replace this y dx plus x dy by differential x y. This is your y square. So we can write this x cube y square as x into x square y square. Simply we'll split x cube as x into x square into differential x y plus dx equals to zero. Then, the above equation can be written as x into, we can write x square y square as x y whole square into differential x y plus dx equals to 0, right. So, here we can remove this x, is x from the first term, it will be easy to integrate, right. So, the integrating factor will be One by x. In order to eliminate this x from the first term, you need to divide the whole equation by x. Okay, so we can take integrating factor one by x. Now let's multiply integrating factor to the equation considered as equation two. The equation obtained from by multiplying integrating factor is our equation number 2. Okay. So, we can check whether 2 is exact or not. Okay. We can do it later. So, this is equals to, we can write this as x into xy whole square differential xy plus dx by x equals to 0 since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split the total expression into two expressions. Then, x into x y whole square by x into differential x y plus 1 by x into dx equals to 0. So, here x gets cancelled. Then, xy whole square into differential xy plus 1 by x into dx equals to 0. Right? Now we can integrate. We can perform integration. Integral xy whole square into differential xy plus integral 1 by x dx equals to 0 or you can write constant c. Okay. I'll put 0. Later, we can write c. Then, integral xy whole square in differential xy is xy power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus integral 1 by x differential dx is log mod x equals to integral constant c. Okay. So, here you are having differential x, y. So, x, y is considered as one variable. Okay. It will be easy so that we can perform integration using x power n dx formula. Right. Which is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1.
then x y power 2 plus 1 3 by 3 plus log mod x equals to c or you can write this as x y whole cube by 3 plus log x equals to c which is the required general solution of the given equation. Okay. Fine. So now let's check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. That is equation 2 which is obtained by multiplying 1 by x to the given equation that is x cube y cube plus 1 into dx plus x power 4 y square dy equals to 0. Then x cube y cube plus 1 into dx plus x power 4 y square dy by x equals to 0. You can also write this as x cube y cube plus 1 by x into dx plus x power 4 y squared by x into dy equals to 0. Then x cube y cube by x plus 1 by x into dx plus you can cancel 1x right you get x cube y square dy equals to 0 then x square y cube plus 1 by x into dx plus x cube y square dy equals to 0 which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form or you can name it as m1 and n1. m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 where m1 equals to x square y cube plus 1 by x and n1 equals to x cube y square. So now we are going to check whether the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x or not. Okay. So let's find partial derivative of m1 with respect to y. m1 equals to x square y cube plus 1 by x and n1 equals to x cube y square. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to dou by dou y of x square y cube plus 1 by x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x square and 1 by x as constant is equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term since x square and 1 by x are constant so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of y cube plus partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 is equal to x square into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3y square which is equal to 3x square y square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is equal to dou y dou x of for n1 equals to x cube y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, sorry, with respect to x, so we'll take y square as constant is equal to constant into partial derivative of x cube. So partial derivative of x cube is equal to 3 x squared is equal to 3, x squared, y squared. So it's clear that dou m1 by dou y equals to dou n1 by dou x. Therefore, dou m1 by dou y is equal to dou n1 by dou x. From this, we can say that 
No, one, two. Equation two is exact. Okay, which is nothing but after multiplying integrating factor to the given equation, the equation is reduced to an exact equation. Okay, so the verification is done. Fine. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.